Hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do some green screening using Keylight. Uh, there's a few tutorials out there, but I thought I'd get this one out, show it a little bit more clearly, hopefully, and show you what I do a little bit different as well. Okay, so first thing you want to do is file, import, file, and you'll go and choose whatever you go and get that footage that you need to green screen and it will come up here on your project panel um, drag this onto your composition and there we go it's there so let me just show you that clearly this is your project panel and you just drag over okay so once you've got it there we can start green screening so with this video selected you go to effects you go to keying and you go to key light 1.2 press you see screen color here so see that screen color click this little symbol here and we go to the the video and we find a nice bit of green okay over here let me show you over here you see this there's info about the video and there's R G and B this is red green and blue okay and that's alpha if you want to know all right I'm having a look at the G which here represents green and you're going to see, when I go over to, to my footage, so if I go over to my footage and I, I wave this over the green, you'll see it going up in um, numbers, the higher the intensity of the green. And that's a good thing. We want the highest intensity we can find. I mean, don't, don't look at it with a magnifying glass and try and find it, but, you know, try and find the good, good medium. So 206 I found, and I click that, and... If you can see, let me just do that again for you. Let me do that again. Just so you can see that. I'm going to go to symbol. I'm going to go and find a good area and click. And there you go. You've chosen the green for it to key out. Okay. Now, it hasn't fully keyed this out. And if you go to, if you go to this, so if you go to view, this was on final result. If you go to view and you go to screen map, Okay, it's going to come up with this mode and this shows you what has really happened in this video. So actually, we haven't got rid of everything. This white blemish over this black background still represents some, some green that's still left there. And your white um, figurine here still shows, um, you can see that it can still read crew there. And that's not good because when the video plays, you're going to see bits of this washing out and it's going to be a little bit transparent so it's important that you make this bit black so this area black and you make this area fully completely white okay and how you do this pretty simple you go to screen map over here in your effects panel okay and then you're gonna so here you're gonna clip the white and watch this area while I'm doing that so I'm gonna bring this uh, this down and watch it see it turns so it it it, it goes completely white okay and I'm going to bring this down even up to this area here can you see that that's still we want to get rid of that because that bit and on the sh on the chair is transparent at this moment in time and you'll notice the more the more I bring this down the more intense this white gets on the black background okay but we'll sort that out in a second so I'm gonna bring this down until this is fully white so you see that everything's pretty pretty damn white okay pretty damn cool okay now I'll go to the clip black and we want to make this as black as possible okay so I um, clip this the same way I did the white instead I, I turn this up okay you can do it like this but I also use screen gain I like to use uh, this option here okay it just um, takes some of the weight off of it and if you do it like that it takes a lot more of the, the white bits away all right the more you adjust these things the more fuzziness your video is going to be around the edges okay so what you got what you want to do in this mode you can see that it's rough around the edges so what you want to do is go to screen pre blur and just adjust adjust the values of that a tiny bit so just turn it up a tiny bit and you'll start to see that it softens it around it now don't do it too much otherwise it's just going to look 
artificial, okay? Now we can see what this looks like. So we go to our final result, and this is what it looks like. And this is where I differ from other tutorials out there because most of them tell you to do it to according to the final result, but I don't because I don't like final result because um sorry, I've got the magic mouse. Um you see the chair here and the skin is different colour to our actual source video. So the original video we put in let me just make this a bit bigger. The chair seems a bit lighter, the his skin seems a bit lighter, and the edges on this are more natural. When you take it to final result, the edges seem shot, um, a lot harder. This seems darker. And when you play it, it seems noisier as well. So what I do is I go to intermediate result, okay? And this is where I'm going to export my final video from. I'm going to, I'm going to render this video on intermediate result. Um, when you do it, you get more of the, nat uh, the, the beginning image that you had originally placed within the composition. I mean, this this mode is a little bit more difficult. You got you got to fine tune it until this green's gone. It's just a little bit harder, but you get a better result. Okay, so things you can do to it: you can pre-blur it. You can bring the balance of color up as well. So if you just watch what I'm doing here on the on this side here, I can bring the balance of color up. I can also add um spill suppressor so I can go to effects, I can go to key in, I can go to spill suppressor and here adds another effect and I just click on the symbol and I choose around the edges so the greens and I do that and you see it just tries to suppress that green a little bit and I try and blend it in using suppression I can soften the edges a tiny bit you know so until you can get you can start to see that you, you you're getting a result okay now I'm going to show you an example of what you can do with this. So by the way, if this isn't like a checkered box here, it's because you haven't got this thing here turned on. See this little thing? This makes it transparent or not. All right, you want it transparent so you can do all your your green screen and you make it look really cool, okay? So, I'm going to add a solid layer underneath it and I'm going to choose Let's choose, I'll choose orange. I'll choose orange. And I'm going to drag this orange to the bottom of it. And you'll see our image of the dude comes up here. And according to this layer, you can adjust adjust the effects on it to, you know, to really fit, to make, to make it look like he's actually in, in the place. Let's so say this is a picture of a beach. Yeah, I'm just going to adjust it a bit more. You know, until I've got my desired effect and I, I could color correct this as well to make it look a little bit better. So it's just a basic, basic way of green screening. Okay. Now I'm gonna get rid of this. And if you wanna if you wanted to take this footage over to Final Cut Pro and you didn't wanna do your 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 background layers within After Effects, um, what you do is you keep this transparent, so you keep this checker box on. You go to composition, you go to add to render queue, okay, and then this this screen comes up. Then you go to here, output module, and you click lossless. Alright. And when you click that, this 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 box comes up. And you want here where it says channels, you want RGB and alpha um, um, selected because if you just do RGB your video is going to come out and you're going to have a black background and, and it's just going to be as if it's a self-contained movie, okay? But if you click RGB and Alpha, this will tell Final Cut that you just want that video and that transparent background. So when you put your video on the timeline and you add something underneath it, then it will look like um, that's overlaid on top of it. It's kind of like how a Photoshop layer works if you're familiar with that, okay? So always have RGB and alpha and millions of colors as well. It defaults to that anyway. But then that's how you get the transparent background. So you can, your workflow, you can work through um, different programs. Okay. I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much. If you like more tutorials, just hit me up and uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay.